So over the past year, what are the main changes that have taken place in the cybersecurity industry that you've witnessed? I think it's been the sophistication of the, the viruses that we've been seeing. We're seeing them getting through the traditional perimeter security and through the traditional sort of signature sets. And as a result, you know, people have been infected for a considerable amount of time. Uh, without even knowing that they've been infected. And I think, you know, it's, it's the change in terms of the uh, hackers themselves. You know, they're much more interested in trying to get data rather than create mayhem, if you know what I mean. Uh, and much more mo motivated. You know, crypto locker, encrypt encryption algorithms and uh, viruses have been incredibly um, prevalent. You know, they've been very profitable. So, you know, those two things, I think, have been very noticeable this year. And it's a cliche question, but are the bad guys still winning? Well, I think it's a, it is a continual arms race. You, you are seeing we're having to chase them to constantly uh, look after them. They have. We've got a lot of uh, different avenues that we have to cover off. They just have to find one. So it's a very asymmetric sort of battle that we're fighting. So in that way, yes, they have got an advantage on us. But I think there's a lot of good technology out there, and we've got. A, we're getting, increasingly getting a good set of security professionals who are helping us. With, I think combat them. What's the main challenge that this cybersecurity industry faces moving forward? It's detection, I think. It's the ability to dig out malicious behaviour from a whole load of data that we're seeing on the network. You know, 80% of all hacks are already detectable within just the syslog files. But imagine if you can extend that to, you know, the endpoint, if you can extend it to the network and all the rest of it, and you're getting all the more information. You should be able to look after or detect malicious activity and we've just got to make that a lot more uh, comprehensive and we've got to make, make it faster so we can remediate it much more quickly. And what have you heard today here at Crestcon that you found particularly interesting? I'm very, I've been interested in the focus on IoT which I think is going to become a real big thing in the year coming. I think the, the one I was most interested in is, is the um, actually communications that IoT uses so Zigbee was one particular one we saw this morning. And it's just so interesting to see how raw and unprepared uh, they are for the environment that they're going into. So we're seeing, you know, uh, credentials being transmitted, you know, passwords being transmitted in plain text. We're seeing, you know, built-in passwords into software. This is stuff which, you know, we shouldn't be seeing anymore. And finally, what do you enjoy about Questcom? Why do you enjoy coming to this event? I think it's the variety of people that you meet here. You know, you've got a whole range of people from, you know, intense penetration testers, which uh, are right through to, you know, the more sort of strategy, architecture-based uh, individuals. And it's that mixture which makes it m most interesting.